Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today in this episode of VIT Triple E Questions with Solution, we're going to be talking about some questions which were asked in previous years of VIT Triple E. Today we're going to be looking at questions related to the subject English which were asked in VIT Triple E 2018. So VIT Triple E usually contains mathematics, physics, chemistry, as well as English. So the English section is very short for every year's paper, and they usually contain about five questions. So today we're going to be discussing all of the questions which were asked for English in VIT Triple E 2018. Here comes our first question. Now, in some questions, we usually get a passage and a couple or three questions we have to answer based on the passage. So we have to first study the paragraph and an answer the questions that follow. Judiciary has become the center of controversy in the recent past on account of the sudden me in the level of judicial intervention. The area of judicial intervention has been steadily expanding through the device of public interest litigation. The judiciary has shed its pro-status quo approach and taken upon itself the duty to enforce the basic rights of the poor and vulnerable sections of society by progressive interpretation and positive action. The Supreme Court has developed new methods of dispensing justice to the masses through the public interest litigation. Former Chief Justice P. N. Buckwood, under whose leadership public interest litigation attained a new dimension, comments that the Supreme Court has developed several new commitments. It has carried forward participative justice. So here's question one. The steady expansion of judicial intervention is the result of A. Excessive laws, B. Public interest litigation, C. Supreme Court's new methods of dispensing justice, D new commitments of the Supreme Court. So if we look at the second sentence here, the area of judicial intervention has been steadily expanding through the device of public interest litigation. So in in sentence number two, it is clearly mentioned that option B, public interest litigation is there is is the reason why there is a steady expansion of judicial intervention. So option B is the correct option for this first question asked in 2018. Now let's look at the second question. According to the author, judiciary has become the center of controversy because of A. Problems arising with dispensing justice in the recent past B. Public interest litigation C. Sudden me in the level of judicial intervention D, the Supreme Court's supremacy. And over here, you can get the answer to this question in the first sentence itself. Judiciary has become the center of controversy in the recent past on account of the sudden me in the level of judicial intervention. So the exact sentence is option C, sudden me in the level of judicial intervention. So therefore option C, will be the correct option for this question asked in 2018. Now, let's look at the third question for this paragraph. According to Justice P. N. Bhagwad, Supreme Court has developed judicial intervention, various new commitments, participative judicial approach to dispense justice or public interest litigation. So we can see that the penultimate sentence here, it says, Former Chief Justice P. N. Puckwood, under whose leadership public interest litigation attained a new dimension, comments that the Supreme Court has developed several new commitments. So we can see that among the four options, option B is the exact wording that has appeared in the passage. So therefore, option B is the correct answer for this question asked in 2018. Now, Let's look at another question. In the question below, a sentence is given, a part of which is printed in bold and underlined. This part may contain a grammatical error. Each sentence is followed by the phrases A, B, C, or D. 
we need to find out which phrase should replace the phrase given in bold or underlined to correct the error, if there is to make the sentence grammatically meaningful and correct. And the original sentence is this. Recent incidents of tigers straying have brought to focus the lack of proper regulatory mechanism and powers with the forest department to take action against the resort's mushroom in forest fringes. So the sentence, the, the phrase and powers with the forest department to take action against the resort's mushroom in forest fringes is the phrase that is underlined. And so this part of that sentence is incorrect. We need to find out which of these four statements, which of these four phrases is the correct phrase to be used. In phrase A, it says, and powers with the forest department to taking action against the resort's mushroom in forest fringes. So um, we can see, we, we and so if you were to look at the statement, analyze, if we were to analyze the statement, we can see that we are talking about the powers which is which are present with the forest department. So therefore, that part is correct. And we have, we use this kinds of sentences. This is a declarative sentence and the tense here is simple present. And if you were to look at option A, you can see that taking action is used. The verb is taking action. So that is present continuous. So that specific portion is present continuous, which means that there is an error with the tenses. So option A is incorrect. Now option B and powers with the forest departments. Now in the government or in any other sort of department, sort of department structure, the forest department is singular. So therefore, we, we will write it as the forest department instead of forest departments. So therefore, option B is incorrect. Now, what about option C? And powers with the forest department to take action for the resort's mushroom in forest fringes. Well, it contains one error that's present in options A, B as well, A and B as well. That is the word mushroom. The word mushroom here is acting as an adjective to the word resorts. But the term mushroom itself is a noun and not an adjective. And we can also use it as a verb to describe something, you know, being coming out of the ground. Now, in order for a verb to function as an adjective, it should be present in the gerund form, that is the ing form. So therefore, the correct option will be option D and powers with the forest department to take action against the resorts mushrooming in forest fringes. So option D is correct. So if you look at option D, it says taking action against the resorts. And so therefore option C also has one more error because it says taking action for the resorts, which again is incorrect. So the correct replacement for this sentence will be recent incidents of tigers strain have brought to focus the lack of proper regulatory mechanism and powers with the forest department to take action against the resorts mushrooming in forest fringes. So option D is the correct option for this question, which was asked in 2018. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. Choose the best pronunciation of the word M-I-S-C-H-I-E-V-O-U-S from the following options. Option A is mischievous. Option B is mischievous. Option C is mischievous. Option D is mischievous. So, how do we solve this question? Well, if we were to look uh, in the dictionary, the word mischievous, we will see that they often write the words 
in a separate alphabet called the phonetic alphabet. So if you were to check out the phonetic form of the word M-I-S-C-H-I-E-V-O-U-S, you will be finding it something like this. M-I-S, C-H, and then this letter, and then V U S V and then you know schwa this letter and then s so this phonetic alphabet is explored in our video the international phonetic alphabet so if you want to access if you want to learn more about the international phonetic alphabet you can always hit the link in the description below now moving on so we have Miss M I S C H I E V O U S written in the phonetic form, and this is one syllable. This is the second syllable. This is the third syllable, and the pronunciation for this is mischievous. The letter that we are uh, seeing, which is an inverted A, this is called a schwa. Again, more about it on our video on the international phonetic alphabet, and this. So what what is important about the schwa is that it, its sound is similar to u h or u so the uh sound is represented by a schwa in the phonetic alphabet so if you were to replace the schwa with u h or u you will get option a mischievous so the correct pronunciation for the word m i s c h i e v o u s is option a mischievous because if because uh, because we can understand that be, due to the fact that we, when we use the phonetic alphabet, the schwa is placed in those two syllables and it has an uh sound. So therefore, we should use the first option that is mischievous. So that concludes this episode of VIT Triple E Questions with Solutions. If you want to access more of our videos. We can always subscribe to the channel, which is Brain Blitz Audios. To learn specifically about VIT Triple E and get previous year questions, you can always hit the link for the playlist in the description box down below. To get the latest updates regarding our channel, you can always hit the notifications button present below the video. And if you want to learn more about the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, you can again hit the video's link present in the description box down below. So until the next webisode, Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.